Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do with this photo is get rid of those flyaways because they gotta go. They're, they just gotta go. So what I'm gonna do is make a new raster layer. And there are many different ways to getting rid of flyaways. I like to use the clone tool. It's just like erasing something or some, it's like erasing something from your life that you don't need anymore. Um, it's pretty easy to use. If you're using a clone brush on a solid background, it's a little bit easier. What you want to do is sample a surrounding area. So I'm holding Alt, making sure my opacity is around 88%, I think. Um, the hardness on my brush is at 69%, and then the size, I'll just keep it at 125. You can always toggle. So I'm going to start cloning. So again, I'm holding Alt, clicking, and I'm just slightly going over all these flyaway areas. And I hate doing, I hate doing this stuff. It's never easy. You know those people who make the tutorials like, oh, get rid of flyaways. And then they do it like in one click. That ain't me. I'll say, I'll be here for like the next 20 years. I'll still be doing this. You'll find me clicking away. Trying to get rid of these flyaways. This is why I hear stylus is really important. Let me see if that's looking really, yep, it's as bad as I thought. Okay, hold on. Okay, you know what? The trick is to just make it look realistic. Like, let's be real for a second, okay? That doesn't look that bad. I'm not trying to make it look like a pageant. So I'm going to keep that section. And over here, same thing. Just clicking away. This really makes you hate your life sometimes. You're like, oh God. Okay, here we go. See, I'm doing it. Again, holding Alt, click, and then get rid of a little bit at a time. Now, I'm only doing this because it's a little section here. If I had more leeway, I could probably use a bigger brush, but I don't. And another thing that you could do is use a brush this color, but I'm just showing you this technique in case you want to use it. And in case you can't use the, the actual solid color brush tool. Yeah. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I think I missed a couple spots here. Okay. And if you wanted to make sure that, you know, there's no patchiness over here, just make a new layer. I'm not even going to name this. I'm not going to bother. Okay. Sampling this color. And I'm going to use my opacity. I'm going to put my opacity on 55 and just slightly go over it to make sure it's all one color. And again, you could use a solid color and just simply color over like this, over the flyaways. But I just wanted to show you guys the cloning just in case. So you could do either one. 